Hello everyone, this is Dr. Paramjeet and you're watching Doctor Education. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about LVH, left ventricular hypertrophy of the heart. This is a very common problem. Many of you have asked me about what is left ventricular hypertrophy, what are the reasons why LVH is there in their ECG in their echocardiography and what does that mean so we'll address these issues today we'll talk about what is left ventricular hypertrophy what causes left ventricular hypertrophy what is the side effect what are the problems what are the future prognosis of it what can you do to prevent it what can you do to treat it and what is the difference between left ventricular hypertrophy and left ventricular dilation so there is a huge difference between them so we'll discuss about all these issues today. Other things which we have already discussed about the heart testing like ECG, echocardiography, Holter, uh, stress testing, TNTs, uh, CT angiography and uh, angiography. All these things have been covered in previous videos. If you haven't seen them, then do check them out on my channel. Do not forget to subscribe. Friends, don't forget to press the bell icon because that's how you'll get the next video's notification right on your mobile application. So let's start. If you want to know about health and have health concerns, then subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. You'll be notified about all upcoming videos. Everyone knows your heart is a pump and the main chamber of the heart which pumps the blood out of the heart to every single organ of your body is the left ventricle. The heart has two sides right and left out of which left ventricle is the main chamber of the heart which pumps the blood to every single part of the body and this pumping power of the heart is measured by ejection fraction that means whatever amount of blood is filled in the left part of the heart in the left ventricle and when it pumps once, percentage of this blood, of this blood which it pumps out is the ejection fraction. So normally a heart pumps more than 55 to 60 percent in one beat. It should pump more than that. Anything below 55 is abnormal, is abnormal and suggests that the heart is weak and it's pumping less than average. So this left ventricular function is very important for your well-being for your heart. So left ventricle has a wall just like the wall of these rooms. So left ventricle is something like this. It has a wall and left wall, right side wall, anterior wall, posterior wall, lateral and medial. So medially the obviously on the right side of the left ventricle there will be a right ventricle. So between the right and left ventricle there will be a septum, intraventricular septum. Left ventricular hypertrophy means that these walls of the left ventricle have become thick. There is hyperplasia of these left ventricle that means just like when your biceps become thicker, when you lift up weight, your chest becomes bigger when you lift up weight. That is because more muscle mass develops in these muscles. Same way, more muscle mass can develop in the walls, muscular walls of left ventricle when your heart is under more stress, has to work more. How will it work more? This determines the causes. If you have high blood pressure, if you have chronic high blood pressure, more than a couple of years, more than a, for a long period of time, the whole day, most of the times of the day, then your heart will be working out much more than it should be then obviously it needs more muscle therefore your body will create more and more thicker and thicker walls of the left ventricle and then you will have left ventricular hypertrophy so this left ventricular hypertrophy can be measured as mild moderate and severe that means when there is little bit of thickening of the heart muscles uh, walls then it is called mild more thickening, moderate. Severe means very high. Normally, the thickness of both sides of the walls of the left ventricular wall is on an average below 1.2 to 
centimeters that means 12 millimeters should be anything below that so if your wall thickness has increased the muscle has increased to more than 1.2 centimeters you have mild left ventricular hypertrophy if it is more than 1.4 1.5 centimeter it's moderate and if it is more than 6 1.6 1.7 centimeter it's severe it is also variable according to your size your age so left ventricular hypertrophy is something like this and now hypertrophy can be concentric that means it can be from all parts of the wall that means it is that means it is present in the septal wall the lateral wall the anterior wall the posterior wall everywhere the wall is thickened that means a concentric left ventricular hypertrophy is there and there can be localized left ventricular hypertrophy which means that only the septal wall is thickened or only the lateral wall is thickened now what is the significance what will happen see whenever you have left ventricular hypertrophy the only problem is that the heart size is fixed the heart is not increasing in size the heart muscle is getting thick if the muscle is getting thick the cavity of the heart is shrunken is the cavity of the heart becomes smaller and smaller and smaller which means that if you have more and more and more of left ventricular hypertrophy the lesser amount of blood can be brought in inside the left ventricle obviously if less blood can be brought in even if your pumping force is more amount of blood which you can pump in one beat will be less even if you are pumping much more than 50 60 70 percent you say you can pump even 80 percent if the heart muscles are bigger and bigger but you are just filling less amount initially when your heart was normal you were filling like 100 ml so now you are only able to fill 60 ml so if you are still pumping 80 percent then your heart's pumping power is fine but filling capacity is very less so 80 percent of 60 is still less than 55 so you will still suffer from heart failure so left ventricular hypertrophy is the initial stage of hypertensive heart disease in which more work done by the heart is depicted as an increase in the muscular size of the walls of the left ventricle and as it increases your heart's capacity of filling more and more blood is decreased and initially your pumping power will increase but as the cavity becomes smaller you will fall into heart failure this is called as hypertensive heart disease hypertrophic cardiomyopathy so LVH if it continues for more and more years then it can lead to hypertrophic cardiomyopathy heart failure and there is no treatment for that once it develops there is no treatment of thinning out the heart obviously there are some treatments some methods to actually thin out the heart muscles but you cannot get back to the original so what can you do if you have left ventricular hypertrophy then the only thing which you need to control is your blood pressure yes only thing which you need is blood pressure control blood pressure if controlled adequately and properly then left ventricular hypertrophy can be reversed can be controlled can be managed so that it does not increase and mild hypertrophy is not a problem not an issue in any age but you need to avoid more workload on your heart now apart from hypertension if you are very much overweight when you are obese then also your heart has to lift up the weight of your body and every time you walk it's a workload for your heart and that will lead to a hypertrophy of your heart muscles so that's about left ventricular hypertrophy now what is the difference between left ventricular hypertrophy and left ventricular dilation left ventricle of the heart can also become ballooned that means it can actually thin out and get dilated become just bigger this happens because of other reasons and this is totally different disease and this also can lead to decrease in the pumping power of the heart and this is totally different than left ventricular hypertrophy so this left ventricular dilation will be covered in a different video but for now you can understand that the anatomy is different that physiology is different the reasons are different but 
ultimately what it leads to is a decreased amount of blood coming out of the heart leading to heart failure if you want to know more about heart failure go and watch heart failure video on my channel doctor education check out playlist on heart there are many videos on the heart testing of the heart diseases angiography angioplasty heart failure difference between heart blocks heart attack heart failure so go check out browse these videos do not forget to subscribe my channel i'm dr paramjit guys you need to share these videos to anyone whom you feel may need this information and can can benefit with this information don't forget knowledge is prevention and it's in your hand to prevent a disease of your loved one best of luck if you have any questions do write to us i'm dr paramjit signing off good day